Greetings and welcome to Newsm TV. I am Akanaka Masengama. Stories making the headlines. Judges bemoan lack of proper accommodation and vehicles. In the courts, Gumbura trial fails to kick off after he falls sick in business. Top economist warns Mutulin Nube against tobacco farmers' ill treatment in sports. Billiard Chupezeze up for South African PSL awards. Now the news in greater detail. Chief Justice Luke Malaba on Monday bemoaned the lack of adequate accommodation and vehicles for judges and magistrates. Speaking during the official opening of the Labour Court in Harare, Malaba told President Emerson Mnangagwa that some judges do not own houses while others have been forced to hitchhike from potential litigants. There are, of course, Your Excellency, challenges that we face as the judiciary. We are concerned about the conditions of service for judges and magistrates. Some of our judges are yet to receive their conditions of service motor vehicles. We do appreciate Your Excellency the scarcity of foreign currency, but it is necessary that some allocations be prioritized for acquisition of conditions of service vehicles for judges. In the same vein, most of our magistrates have no accommodation of their own and vehicles. The Labour Court now has more spacious offices, enough to accommodate its staff as well as key stakeholders including police, the deputy sheriff, and an information technology hub. For years, the Labour Court has been operating from a small office in the CBD. In the courts, the trial of jailed cleric Robert Martin Gumbura failed to kick off Monday after he and his co-accused reportedly fell sick to suspected food poisoning. Gumbura is charged together with seven other inmates for allegedly instigating a deadly food riot at Chikurubi in an ill-fated jailbreak four years ago. They all could not stand trial after claiming they had fallen sick after consuming beef at Chikurubi. The inmates had previously applied for postponement of their trial on grounds that they wanted to approach the High Court seeking a review of a ruling by magistrate francis mafumo who dismissed the application for discharge at the close of the state case mafumo ruled that gumbura and his co-accused should be put to their defense still in the courts a harare police officer who raped his stepdaughter before killing her in cold blood was hauled before the courts on monday Moses Nigel Jalasi appeared before a Harare magistrate who ordered him to apply for bail at the High Court. Jalasi, aged 27, was married to the deceased 45-year mother, a police inspector, while the late schoolgirl was 19. According to prosecutors, Jalasi killed the girl after raping her on Monday 10 this year around 10 a.m. In business. Renowned economist Godfrey Kanyenze has warned Finance Minister Mtulinwe against declining tobacco farmers' payments in foreign currency, arguing the country risks failure to tap into the sector's potential in future. Kanyenze argued the move could demotivate farmers. In an interview with NewZimbabwe.com business recently, Kanyenze urged Ngube to take the tobacco farmers' matter seriously, hinting that if ignored, it could have dire consequences for the sector, which at its peak could anchor the economy. We shall be taking a short break. We will be back soon. I joined Diaspora Funeral Police when my father passed away. Without them, I don't know where I could have started with all the things I covered for the, for the funeral. For me, to be honest, diaspora cash plan, it was very easy, good transaction. It was only a matter of phone call. Then they said they would do everything, the rest. To be honest, by end of the day, I got the settlement.
we end with sports. Kaiza Chiefs forward Kama Billiard and Baroka FC goalkeeper Elvis Chipezeze are the only Zimbabwean players in the running for South Africa's Premiership Soccer League awards after being included on the list of nominees announced in Deben on Monday morning. Despite his club's struggles in their league campaign where they finished 8th, Billiard has been nominated for NetBank Cup player of the tournament after helping his team reach the final which will be played this weekend. Former chicken in goalkeeper Chipezeze is also vying for the Telcom knockout player of the tournament following his heroic saves which helped Baroka FC win the coveted silverware in December. The South African Premiership Awards ceremony will take place on Sunday, May 19 at the Deben International Convention Center. To end this news bulletin, here is a recap of headlines once more. Judges bemoan lack of proper accommodation and vehicles. In the courts, Gumbura trial fails to kick off after he falls sick in business. Top economist warns Mutuling Tube against tobacco farmers ill treatment in sports. A billiard chipezeze up for South African PSL awards. Reporting for NewZimbabwe.com, I am Makanaka Masenyama. For this and more stories, visit our website www.newzimbabwe.com and our YouTube channel, News and TV.